Each day, thousands of cars travel along Interstate 5 in our area. Along with the traffic, though, there's a dark side of the I-5 corridor that involves human trafficking. Now for the first time, there's a coalition in Eugene taking action against the sexual exploitation of people in our community. NBC 16's Megan Shin is following those efforts. She joins us tonight in the studio. Megan. It's called the Eugene Coalition Against Sexual Exploitation. The group involves big players in our community. This includes the Eugene Police Department, 4J School District, the Lane County District Attorney, and many others. Tonight, we take you inside the task force to see how they're working to stop sex trafficking. The I-5 corridor, the backyard for many Oregonians, and a major lifeline for the business of human trafficking. In real life, it's different than what you see on the big screen. The heroes in our community don't need a cape to crack down on human trafficking here. So we're really focusing in on how to educate our community and how to get lots of people involved. This is the Eugene Coalition Against Sexual Exploitation, otherwise known as eCase. A collaboration between the Junior League of Eugene, 4J School District, Hope Ranch, and Eugene Police. Recently, the organization added on Eugene City representatives, the District Attorney's Office, Kids First, and the YMCA, a team of big players in the community. I think it goes unnoticed, and people don't want to talk about it. Human trafficking is a $150 billion industry worldwide. That's more than Starbucks, Nike, and Google combined. Sex trafficking is estimated to make up to two-thirds of that. Some of the pimps that we were working and here in Eugene, Oregon, we're making a million dollars a year. Eugene Police Detective Greg Harvey has followed human trafficking cases with the Special Investigations Unit for 19 years. He says the issue is bigger now more than ever, particularly in Eugene. Rejection is nothing to them. So they can go to 100 girls and be rejected 99 times in that one time that they're not they have somebody. Harvey says Eugene is part of a human trafficking triangle between neighboring states. It's a challenging issue to stop as technology develops. Because when we find something and try to get on top of it, they have a new uh, social media you know, application somewhere that they're going to be hooking up to. It's no longer just recruitment outside of public places. It's online, through email, and on your cell phone. As human trafficking survivor Kayla Henry knows how technology leaves anyone susceptible to recruiters. When I graduated high school I went to the University of Oregon and I graduated with honors I was in the FTA I was um, I got voted most inspirational on the volleyball team she became a victim of trafficking in Eugene as a student looking for a job Henry turned to Craigslist responding to an ad for pretty girls and I so badly wanted to know that that it hooked me in it grabbed my attention and in the ad it didn't say for what or why it just thought i wonder if i'm pretty henry says her trafficker asked to meet her here at a casual comfortable spot inside of starbucks near campus she says her trafficker romanticized her with the idea of what sounded like being a date at harmless events unaware she was manipulated into human trafficking for two long months we would go up and down i-5 to salem and um, he would just run out hotels for the weekend and i I stopped being in my dorm. I stopped being in my classrooms. My friends were concerned. Henry says she later realized what she was caught in. Beaten when she tried to leave, she told the trafficker her dad was a parole and probation officer. I don't think it's usually that easy. Um, I think a lot of girls don't have a dad like I had. And, uh, and also, I just really think that God rescued me. Now a part of E-Case, she wants to share her story and help stop the trafficking. This is real and this is worth your time. E-Case works to inform the community about traffickers' recruitment tactics and their use of technology. So many people, even in our community, say, oh, well, that can't be happening here. That's like overseas, you know, but it's definitely here. And it's definitely bigger than it's ever been before because of social media and just the access. A difficult reality to swallow, but a danger the E-Case and many others say is directed at both genders and younger ages through social media. When you have the district attorney's office involved and Eugene Police Department, there are so many people there that really care and really want to um, get the message out. A collection of community leaders now surrounding this issue. E-Case, a group of community heroes coming together to end bad business taking place in our backyard. The Eugene Coalition Against Sexual Exploitation had their first community event earlier this month. They are still in the middle of planning their next event, and Kayla Henry will be sharing more of her story in Portland at the end of March. From the studio, I'm Megan Shin, NBC 16. Thanks, Megan.